So I'll carry on with the important notes. Um, so Ian asks, can you give me more details on the one year consulting contract? Uh, and Lydia is great for answering this, but just as kind of like a high level, actually, we can't answer this because with it being a consultant, consulting contract, it's really dependent on your team, your team size, the IP you've chosen, what you're wanting to do with it. It, it actually is just really tailored to you and what you and Universal see as a vision. So actually the legalities of it and the details of it, we don't have that much to to um, to divulge yet. But as you go through the competition, um, it will get clearer and clearer. So important note number two, we get asked this quite a lot, but we have covered this. So working in a team, you can work in a team, but you submit the contest by yourself. All team members must be properly attributed to your submission and they must have Unity Connect profiles that are completed to 80%. Uh, where to go if you have any questions after this live stream? Actually, uh, so you can pop onto Connect and go to the Uno Universal Game Dev Challenge channel. And myself, Lydia and Matt are answering questions whenever we can there. And there's been so many questions asked. Um, so you you'll more than likely find the answer that you're after there. Um, if you find that you don't and you're really struggling, then you can reach out to us at connect at unity3d.com um, and we'll try our best to answer your question for you. So that's connect at unity3d.com. Um, so Rankumar asks, each IP is unique. It's like comparing apples with oranges. So how do judges compare between submissions for different IP? What are the judging criteria? So one of the big judging criteria that, that is uh, sort of in the um, details of the competition is actually the creativity of the, of the IP. So the first thing that they're kind of checkboxing off is that you're using Unity, it has Mixer integrated, um, and it's sticking to the IP within the, the constraints. And then sort of secondly, it's the creative vision that you have. So what are you doing with the IP that is innovative or cool or different? Um, and then it's sort of the artistic representation of that, uh, the game the cohesiveness of the gameplay mechanics. Um, and actually, they are the only details that we have, to my knowledge, in our, that, that, that have been released and divulged. Dojo Arcade asks, do you keep your own IP or mechanics even if you're not successful? So yes, your project is yours, it's just the IP that isn't. Ah, Lydia, uh, thank you. The judging criteria is listed in the official terms. So that is the end of the important questions, but I can actually have a look. So what we've got for the sort of remainder of this deck is frequently asked questions that we collated, that Lydia collated for GDC when we announced this. And so I'll just see if we've missed any of those. So what is needed for a complete entry um, is, is quite an important one. So phase one is you need to have your Unity Connect profile completed. And you need to have a games design document that should not exceed 13 pages. And all of these, all of this that's in these frequently asked questions is in the... Um, the official terms and in the frequently asked questions section of the main challenge page on Connect. So if you go to the main challenge page on Connect and check out the official terms, uh, you'll see you'll see all this in there. So don't worry about sort of like getting a grab of this or or going back through the stream or anything. So the games design document does not exceed thirteen pages. There is an example games design document on the page on the Connect page two that you can have a look at which is very useful. And again, the games design document must contain your vision of using Unity for Windows 10, the integration of Microsoft Mixer, and using one of those intended IPs. And then secondly is a pitch, a pitch video, um, but, the, but a private link must be uploaded to your contest entry profile. It can't be two more, two the, more than two minutes in length. And it's really kind of selling what you're creating. So it's introdu introducing your team and your vision, which is really important, but it's also explaining how you're going to use these features, how you're going to use Unity, Mixer, Windows 10, the Asset Store, um, to really bring this IP to life. And then again, 
which is optional. You can actually provide artwork, concept art, um, any prototypes of the game or short videos you've made. You can actually include all of that too in your um, entry. Can I submit multiple submissions for the challenge? No, it's only one submission per person. Even if you're in someone else's team and aren't the lead in both those teams, you can only submit once in the whole competition. Um, okay, so how will I be judged? So I kind of covered this a little bit earlier, but as Lydia pointed out, you can see the terms and conditions and the judging criteria on the Unity Connect Challenge page. Uh, but it's going to be played, it's going to be based on the gameplay and narrative design, uh, creative use of the brand, and also the integration of, of the tools that we've, that we've um, listed earlier. So it's really looking at what you can do that's cool with the IP and make sure that you're integrating all of the lovely, lovely bits of the uh, sort of mixer Unity Windows 10. What happens if I win the grand prize? Then you're very, very lucky. Um, so this is um, where you will be in the position to have the one year universal uh, consulting contract and the prize money. So the prize money for the winning team will be $150,000. The remaining um, $100,000 will be split between the five um, other finalists and it's up to the team lead how this money is distributed uh, so if you win the grand prize you have your $150,000 to take forward your vision and also your consulting contract and don't forget that as um, one of the six finalists you'll also have that mentorship summit with Intel Microsoft Unity and Universal can you create prototypes absolutely we want to see them Alan in the chat has asked whether you can have multiplayer and you absolutely can. Yeah, there's no restriction on multiplayer. It does not have to be a single player game. OK, so, yeah, this is a good one just on like Unity Connect in general. So you're wanting to submit um, into the challenge, but your project isn't yet final. Or maybe you've, you know, you've not quite finished things or got things as, as clean as you'd like. You can actually upload your project to Unity Connect and you'll have the whole time until that first window closes, the 19th of April, to actually update and amend what's on there. So don't worry about that, you know, just just keep going. <laughs> Does it matter what version of Unity I use? Now, this is quite an important one, really, I would say. Um, so, yeah, obviously you have to use Unity. But I think it's a really good consideration to have in your games design document because if you are um, really interested in the new graphics features that we have in 2018, then make sure that you put that sort of vision into your games design document. Because if you're saying, you know, I, I, I'm still enjoying using features of uh, 2017 and then I want to stay on that, then bear in mind that for the rest of this sort of creative process you're going to be in that version and so you know be aware of of what your work of what version you are going to be working with what features you're wanting to use and how best to go about it so we would prefer that that the competition sort of used 2017 and upwards so you use our fancy new features but you know it really doesn't matter what version of unity you use but just um be aware of what features you're wanting to use if if you are, you know, you're not wanting to switch during development, obviously. And as I said earlier as well, so the first submission round, so phase one, is not going to be public um, on Unity Connect because usually we see a lot of developers making blogs of what they've been creating and sort of um, development blogs. But for the first phase, we're not going to do that. And that's purely because of the IP that we're working with. So please bear that in mind. Actually, all of your first submission will be private. And this includes out of Connect as well. So, for example, if you are wanting to put it in your portfolio, unfortunately, you can't. You can take out 
anything that is relevant to the IP and use the rest for your portfolio, but anything that is blatantly, obviously being used for this competition and is part of, a, of the IP just can't be used. So we've already gone over this um, quite a lot about final submission. So it's the pitch video, the GDD and any other supporting materials that you like. OK, so someone in chat. Someone in the chat has asked, what is the last date of phase one and two submissions? So I'll just go back to my flow chart on that because everyone loves a handy flow chart. So here we go. So phase one finishes on the 19th of April. There will then be judging where on the 19th of May, these six finalists are announced. Then there's about about two and a half months development time to create a vertical slice. Um, and all the submissions for phase two will be closed on the 15th of August. And then the grand prize winner will not be announced until our Unite America conference. That is the bulk of it. Um, and they are our most frequently asked questions. They're the key points that you need to know. Um, all of this is on the Unity Connect uh, Universal page, so the example game design document, all of the judging criteria, a reminder of all these milestones, everything is on this URL right here, unity.com forward slash challenges forward slash universal. So that's it from me. I know there's a lot of questions in the chat. And again, like I said, you know, the the channel on connect Lydia has been answering a lot of people's questions and if you do have a question then please look in there if you can't find it uh, you can email email us at unity um sorry you can email us at connect at unity3d.com we'll do our best to answer your questions for you um so what I'll do is um, I'll say goodbye and I'll say thank you all for joining uh, me this evening. Thank you to Lydia and Matt Shell and Alison who have been answering all of your awesome questions in the chat. We'll continue to answer your questions once this is over um, and best of luck with your submissions and I know that you'll make some awesome games. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me this evening.